Good morning, everyone. It's Nicole Nelson here. Thank you so much for subscribing, liking, and sharing. Today, I am going to share with you at home workout edition number three. We're going to be using three tools um, that are under $20, and you actually um, don't have to necessarily have them, but I'm going to show you three small tools that you can have. Um, one is a little ball, kind of deflated. Um, they're actually in the um, kids section, in the toy section, these small little balls. A weighted ball, preferably four to five pounds, and a band, any resistance. So those are the three tools. We're gonna do a quick workout and um, get the heart rate up. All you need is a little bit of space and a mat, and here you go. So I'm gonna start with just some things to get my heart rate up. Push-ups. Keeping the abs in, but tight. Try to go all the way down and move as fast as you can. Next, we're going to do a slow mountain climber. Drawing your core in each time you bring your knees towards your chest. And breathe. We're going to go on to our backs and just some nice and easy bridges. Really engage the glutes and squeeze. So we're doing a warm up here so try to go as fast as possible for yourself. So you get your heart rate up, body temperature rising. Good and we're going to do just a quick set of via abs is what I call it. Adjust myself here. And then on to standing. Just some nice and easy squats. Down as far as you can, squeeze tight into the glutes. All right, so let's come down onto the mat. Let's begin. We're gonna do some band. Three exercises, up to 20 repetitions, cycling through four to five times or keeping the heart rate up for a potentially 30 minutes. So these are some of my favorites. We're gonna do the fire hydrant with the band. Circle around, keep your core in, and your foot flexed. Now from the corner glute, we're gonna kick out. Immediately after you do the set of the rounded fire hydrant. And switch sides. Remember to breathe, keep everything tight. Switch. So as you feel the resistance, try to really squeeze into that. Don't hurry through. I always say embrace the pain. Embrace the tension. All right, moving on. We're gonna go to one of my favorites also. Foot onto the ball, other leg straight up, and lift. So again, you wanna keep the tension into the hamstring and the glutes as we lift and squeeze 
one here. And switch. It's pretty much a squeeze on top of a squeeze here. Don't release the tension. Good, then we're gonna take this ball, holding our legs up with the weighted ball, side to side. If you cannot do this or you need to get stronger first, you can bring your heels down. Working your way up, holding the legs up as you twist side to side. And then we're gonna come down all the way down, and we're gonna come up, reach high over the head, roll down through the spine, reach. This might also take some practice. Reach. Again, you wanna complete all these things as quick as possible. You want to time yourself so you keep your heart rate up. You know you're getting, you're getting stronger and improving as you're able to complete the circuit four to five times through in 20 to 30 minutes. Sorry, this bra is really bad. All right. Deflated ball. If you haven't noticed, this is a lot of abs, but pretty much everything. Um, it's an all over body workout. Small of the back, lean back until you feel your core engage and you're gonna take your hands out over the knees, gently rock up. Now notice I'm not bouncing, I'm controlling my movements. All from my core really squeeze, squeeze. We're gonna do 20 here and then we're gonna move to the side. Very small movements. 20 to the left, then we're gonna go 20 to the right. My feet are planted, I'm not moving any of the lower body here. And then we're gonna go all the way down over the mat, or over the ball, sorry, close to the mat, and then up. Notice my butt is not lifting here. This will be the challenging part, really forcing you to pull from the rectus abdominals here. And don't forget to breathe. 